Grass for the first time ever as a surface. And the first people to go and experience that were the number 99 Chip Ganassi Racing Hummer EV. To be fair, it was a great run by Price. Anderson taking over. All the female drivers nominated to run first in Q1. A decent time set of the 10.15, 2.42. An opening gambit. Now another Anderson up next. They did have a little issue though, Jenny, in the switch zone. Yeah, it was unfortunate, really. You can just see here they've parked a little bit outside of the marked bay area, which meant they got an extra five seconds yeah, added on to their time. Without it, as you can see, they were, they were five seconds up as they crossed the line, but then given the penalty, and that dropped them to uh, 0.21 behind. So super close at the top, but the drama was only just beginning. However, it starts to go wrong here, takes to the side, over the top she goes, little barrel roll, and unfortunately, that was game over for Hedda Hodotas. Yeah, here it was that she just ran up the left-hand side of that bank, and if you watch some of the other drivers closely later, you have to just miss the slight rise that's on the inside, up on two wheels, bicycling, and over it goes. Now, she wasn't the only one. This is Michaela Arlen-Kotlinski, crucially, championship leader. Save this, and that is an incredible save, let me tell you. Put the lock in the right direction, gunned the throttle, got the car back. Unfortunately, later on in the run, the car gets a little bit too sideways on the exit of the corner. Here it is, rear kicks up, she stays in the throttle, boom. Championship leader rolled. No run for Johan Christofferson. Gutierrez out there setting blistering times, particularly in the Continental Traction Challenge. She was the fastest female driver through there. And Jenny, all went wrong again. It did a beautiful cartwheel. Just have a look at that. Such a violent impact for Gutierrez, and you had to feel for her. The team looking on, obviously really disappointed. They were the closest to RXR coming into this weekend with a 17-point gap to the championship leaders. Tomorrow, Molinaro out for Excite Energy Racing with her new teammate, uh, Compank. She took to the car, first of all. They were some 15 seconds back, but by now I think we were seeing teams go, you know what, if we're going to make it through this session, we need to take a different approach. Plus, of course, his relative inexperience on these surfaces. Molly Taylor. She's back in the championship now, pairing up alongside Kevin Hansen. This is a new driver pairing for the Veloce team. And then Kevin went out there and absolutely blitzed it. Brilliant yeah, he driving. Was, he was caning it on the second lap. He really was pushing hard, but with it, the fastest time, only by half a second. And then it was the turn of his brother, and first out, Katie Munnings. Hansen, you could see on his first lap, managed to take the lead on a couple of occasions, but it was so close that if you dropped half a second, you dropped down to P3, P4, and that's where they ended up, look, just 2.04 off. The Neon McLaren team next up with Emma Gilmore. Now, she had a role yesterday during practice, uh, and she said that, you know, it was pretty tough out there today, uh, very hot conditions as well, which, not particularly favourable, but you can see her gritting her teeth there and getting on with it. Her and Faust, 10 seconds off, P5. Now, at Jonas Sainz, running last after an issue with the car. And they really did push. The pairings of them coming together really well. And look, you can see Lia Sands came in with a 1.38 second advantage over everybody else. It was a brilliant job by them, and they go fastest in Q1. So, Axiona Sainz to the top of the table. Well, great stuff. And you can just see what that leaves for the point classification at the moment. It is the Axiona Science team leading the way and championship leaders going away with nothing RXR. So five cars taking the start. They're all pretty level at the moment. X44 just setting aside. It looks like Chip Ganassi have just held back. Lots of hyperdrive being used. The Anoa hyperdrive giving an extra power boost. Look at them go up here. Axiona Science hustling down. Andretti United are the two going to make contact. There's contact behind. Let's keep an eye on the front lot, though. They're going through almost side by side. I think they're just coming round. This is going to be close, but it looks like Axiona Sainz have managed to just get in front of the Genesis Andretti United team. Then it's X44 in that spare chassis that they've managed to use. There is the leader. It's Timmy Hansen for Genesis Andretti United, just managing to get a little bit of a stretch on the Axiona Sainz team, but Carlos Sainz trying to close back. There's a problem for X44, Jenny. They're 18.5 seconds back. X44 V to Carbon, a long way off the pace. That, that seems to have levelled itself out. So I don't know if it was a mistake and then carried on or not. Must admit, I didn't see what happened. 19.3 now. So they're not hemorrhaging time. Look at Timmy Hansen. He's really ragging this. Trying to find a way to extend that lead. It's almost out to five seconds now between him and the Axiona Science team. You can see it visibly growing. So X44 are going to be in the crazy race tomorrow. Four cars and only one goes through. If they don't go through from that crazy race, 
they will be out of the championship fight. Genesis Andretti United, our first team into the switch zone, then wipe is on for the Axiona Science team. Now you've got to nail this switch in a racing situation. This is a little bit harder. Ah, 23 is under investigation yeah, for a switch zone so. infringement. I don't no. think they were in far <laughs> enough. And now if that's the case, we had a team that had that yesterday, earlier on today, it was a five second penalty. Five second penalty confirmed for, uh, for Genesis Andretti United. So the, the gap is 5.7. This, this would be the time you want to get on the radio and say, push a little bit harder, seven tenths of a second, and we get to take the win. Munnings then in the clear out front. Timmy Hansen brought it in for her, and despite that five second penalty for the switch zone, Genesis Andretti United going to come over the finish line to win race one of Q2. Oh, 3.0. They saved the hyperdrive, not five seconds off. They were bang on the money, and they're going to steal the win, surely, with a five second penalty. Wow. Ah, or is the five second penalty been added after ah, the line? That they, makes sense. That's why it jumps. So I was going to say, that's too much, isn't it? Race one in Q2. Genesis Andretti United do take the win. At the back of the pack, look, Excite Energy Racing and X44. X44 going to be in the crazy race tomorrow. One of our championship contenders. P3 for Chip Ganassi Racing. It's P2 for Acciona Science and P1. For Hansen and Munnings, Genesis, Andretti, United. And then to race down to turn one, away from the line. Looks like he's got a great start. Kevin Hansen inside him has as well. Ali Tyre outside him. Ali Tyre looks like he's nudging into the lead with Tanner Faust alongside. He's going to surely hold the inside line into turn two as well. Alatia tries to go all the way around the outside. Contact! Fraser McConnell into the back of RXR. It's Alatia who leads you right on board now with your anchor stops in P2. You can just see Alatia out in front. Then it's RXR making the dash down. They're going to go on the outside. They're going to try and get the gather here. They can't quite get enough pace to get round. Okay, let's take another look back at what happened. Christopherson comes in, he must be seeding. Here he is, he's out front, in comes Alatia behind. So, at, at this point, so now Alatia's gaining over the bump, but it's here, I don't, okay, maybe the bump, maybe I've been unfair as he comes over the bump, but still piles into the back, turns the championship leaders around. Does Christopherson get back in around that flag? He does. Here it is again, Jenny, look at this. So he's going for the move on the outside, and maybe that bump shifts the whole car over to the right more than he was expecting. Keep oh, no! So, they, so they've moved. They're out. Are out. They're in the this. crazy race. They're in the crazy race with X44. The championship is going to be decided in that crazy race tomorrow. Maybe. Could be game over for both our championship favourites. Could, you could not write this, could you? But Veloce still have their Renault a hyperdrive to use as well. Inside, she's having another look this time. She's going to go in deep. Surely trying. She does get through. Goes in deep. Passes Taylor on the inside. That's the second event in a row that Anderson has made an absolutely fantastic pass. She did it in the previous one. I think it was on Sarah Price on the exit. Brilliant driving. She will be high on the list for next year. If that Cooper don't scoop her up, they're mad. The gap now extending to three seconds. JBXC using their Inoa hyperdrive back there to try and claw some space back. But it's the finishing line for the Apt Cooper team. Anderson's done a brilliant job. She's followed home by Molly Taylor. And then it's Hedda Hossas. That's your top three. Anderson doing brilliantly. But will there be a penalty? So the results, a DNF, a costly DNF for RXR. Fourth place for the Neon McLaren. They're under investigation. JBXE doing a great job in third. Second for Hansen and Taylor. 2.8 seconds behind our first place finishes. Alatia and Anderson, that is under investigation. We shall see what the stewards say and how they're going to try and disprove or prove what happened out there. Standings then at the end of qualifying, Apt Cooper were penalised for that contact with RXR with a 30 second penalty, and that means that Veloce take their first ever top qualifier spot. It also means X44 and RXR, our championship contenders, end up in the crazy race. Only one of them can go through to the final.